Okay, so it is war feedback time. I posted a video on my war. Unfortunately, I've deleted the video. And this is the, <laughs> the only war video I have left. So I'm talking about another war video um, where egg on my face. I must have been dueling on my medium set and then forgot to change it to my heavy set. So I was getting all this advice. I'm like, why are they talking to me like I'm playing medium? And then I saw me dodge and I was like, oh crap, I wore medium and I was supposed to be wearing heavy. So that's my first mistake. Wear the right armor to the war. Okay, so what I plan on doing now is going over all the feedback that I've gotten both on the comments and from people that I've talked to. And then I've got a war tonight, so hopefully I, I'm, it's going to be hard to remember everything, but hopefully I remember some of it and then we'll do another war VOD and go over it. Okay, so the first thing, I think this has improved drastically over the last couple of wars, but I still need to be spamming the hell out of pre-potting. So the goal is to use your regen and your oak flesh as you go in. So if you're going to do it the best way possible, you want to use your regen and oak flesh as you go into a clump. And then you use your cleanse to get it, like just as you go out. So it helps you to get out. And then if you need the heal, you do the heal. You always want to cleanse before the heal because the cleanse will cleanse off any debuffs and then the heal will be bigger, right? If you heal before the cleanse, then you might only get like a really small heal. So I liked the idea that someone said about just having a goal for using um, as much pots as possible. So like, I think he said I used like 25 in the war and he said it should be like 40. So what I'll do is I'll have a full stack of regen pots at the start and I'll aim to have them at 60 by the end of the war. I kind of like that because it'll make sure that I spam the crap out of them. Okay. Alright, so in terms of burst combos, um, we were, there's a few comments on team communication and I think they, I think again that was also something that drastically improved in the last war while we, I mean, we weren't communicating before that and it was actually a bit of a surprise because in the last war, um, we said we we're going to communicate and actually the communication was like really good straight off the bat, which I thought was a surprise because I thought it would take a little longer. Um, but one of the things we want to try to do better this time is communicating our burst combos so i think we should try to time our someone said to time your detonates which, uh, someone said to be your time detonates which i think is a valid very valid um uh, criticism for me to do better as the burst so if both of the bruises time our detonates and then we do a good combo we should really be able to do massive amounts of damage on um people and then just yeah like be really lethal so that's something i want to work on Okay, and then another thing for um, the burst combos is I have not really been taking advantage of my greed stacks. So I want to get some light attacks off to get some of my greed stacks in. Um, so one of the things that you want to be doing, the, the burst combo that was recommended to me is that you want your grab and your ditto, they take the same time to go off, so you want to do them at the same time. So you want to do a light attack, a grab and a ditto, and then you want to go into two light attacks and then a maelstrom and then everything will burst at the same time and you'll do insane damage. So that's the combo that I'm going to be trying. Okay, so that will be, and then if I'm too far away from the bomb, um, you want to spam your Path of Destiny to get onto people that are too far out of reach. And you should always be spamming the Path of Destiny, like whenever it's up. So um, that's in terms of damage, what I need to be focusing on. And then in terms of... Oh, and don't charge into clumps. Someone said that. I think that's a very good criticism. I don't usually do that. But this just sort of shows I get a little anxious about getting my damage off. And I can sort of blow my load a little too early. So I just need to be a bit calmer um, and be a bit more patient. And that's something that's just not my natural. Not natural to me. I'm usually like really anxious. Like, get it off, get it off, get off the attack. So that's something I need to work on. Um, so yeah, I will be working on that. And then in terms of declumping, the suggestion was I want to dodge until I've got enough stam left to do one more dodge and then spacebar jump until I can safely use a charge. And um, um, my understanding is that when you jump, you miss people will miss a lot of the ground attacks on you. And so it can be a good way of avoiding damage. So yeah, declumping and declump. Um, I think I've been playing too much like I get in there and I stay in there but I need to be bombing a little bit more so I think I just do need to be playing that style of once I've blown my load you declump 
go hit a healer or someone that's on their own to build up your grab well stacks and then do your next bomb. So I think that's kind of like the goal. Um, and then someone sort of pointed out that basically don't create clumps yourself, uh, which is definitely something that we were doing. Now, I'm not sure about this. I think it's a good criticism, but our team is quite zergy and we do need to group together. So I guess, yeah, it's not that I disagree with it. I'm just not sure how that works with our setup. Um, but basically the criticism was, yeah, be careful. I guess be careful about creating your own clumps and then making sure you declump in time so you don't get burst down. I guess the goal, and this is what they were saying, and I definitely agree with this, was that you want to come in, maybe even try to bait out their bombs so they do their grab wells and all that damage and then get out of it so they've just blown their load and then you go in and bomb them and they've got no defenses at that point. So I think that would be like the ultimate goal and I think I did it in one of the videos and the guy was like, that was really good. And I know we used to play Elder Scrolls Online, and that's what we used to do with a lot of the guilds there, is that you'd have ultimates, and ultimates kind of one who would decide who wins the battle. And so we, we, would, we would try to go in and bait out their ultimates, and then once they'd blow in all their ultimates, we'd go in with ours. So, so that's a pretty typical strategy for most computer games. So I think that's really valid. That's kind of next level play there, though, so I'd like to get the basics first before I start thinking on that sort of stuff. Um... But yeah, but he also said, which I thought was a good thing, is that you can just, you get to choose a little bit on when you want to attack. So you can sort of watch groups and let them blow their cooldowns. And then when you see them do that, then engage with them. And then that really can kind of mess them up. So I think that's kind of the main criticisms we got. I Look, guys, I really, really appreciate the feedback. I think it was just so cool. You, a lot of you left like these really long comments. I've gone through them. I wanted to give them the, the time they deserve. And then as I've gone through them, I'm like, this is almost like a little feedback video. So it's just a short little video that I'm going to post that if you saw the last, if you saw the last comments, um, if you saw the last video and you commented on it, then you know that I've taken the time to read your comments. I've really taken it in. We've got a war tonight, so hopefully it goes well and we can do another VOD review to get some more criticisms and keep that journey of improving. And also I have some more learn to play kind of stuff coming like with the jewels um i've been practicing my clump fighting i'm going to be doing like whether you should rune glass use rune glasses or not um on your armor or your weapon all sorts of kind of fun stuff so yeah i think that's it i'll just i, I might just since the war's almost at an end i might just let it finish off so if you're interested in watching this war um there it is okay thanks everyone i'll see you later